What's going on guys, it's Dan here, and welcome to a video I've been wanting to do for a good long while. Um, it's just explaining a lot of questions that I actually get when it comes to content ID and copyright. Uh, a lot of the times when I'm playing a game, and the game ends up having copyright or content ID to the fact, or to the, to the point where I have to uh, make modifications of the video itself, people tend to ask questions and, and you know, you know, just kind of are curious about why that is. Now, I'll just give you a brief introdu introduction what Content ID is for those who don't know. Content ID is basically a an automatic detection system by YouTube that finds a copyrighted or owned piece of material, whether it be visual or audio, sometimes both, and it flags it as as not yours, obviously, and what happens is, one of three things usually, it's usually three things. Um, first thing, uh, the video is remains live. However, uh, there, there's no ads on it at all. Meaning you don't make a profit, you don't make anything. It's just the video itself, okay? Number two, uh, the video stays live. There's ads on it. But the ads don't go to you, they go to the person whoever claimed it, whatever the case would be. It's automatic, so sometimes it doesn't make sense, sometimes you'll get a claim from somebody you would not imagine. There's a lot of false content IDs out there, like, I could make a content ID on, uh, let's just say, a Call of Duty video saying, this guy can't do Call of Duty, it's mine, and YouTube will flag it. Now I've said that, it's put it in the system saying I own it. They're not gonna do any background, they're not gonna check. That's too much work, they have so many videos and so many of these people who actually claim these things, they really don't have the time to go through each thing and try and check if it's legit or not, which is terrible. That is very bad that, that they're actually doing that, but they have to do something to try and protect these people's copy, like copyrighted footage that they own or have rights to. Okay, and third, and this is the worst one, uh, when your video gets completely blocked, no, sorry, there's four, sorry, before that, four, sorry, let's include one more before we get there. Your video is live, but the audio is completely muted. That one is pretty bad, it's pretty pointless, uh, especially for someone who does commentary let's play, game, uh, let's play videos, okay? So whenever that happens, the video might as well not be there. You can't hear anything, not myself, the game audio, anything is, it's completely muted, okay? That's another option. And finally, the fourth one, the video gets blocked completely and nobody can see it whatsoever. Ergo being pointless. Now, a lot of people question this. They're like, Dan, I don't understand why you have to, like, okay, oh, let's just, let's just put this out here. Nine times out of ten when it comes to content ID, it's music related. Not very often you'll get a visual content ID notification on a video. Usually it's just for a song or whatever in-game. That's very common. Uh, a lot of the times you can dispute them. A lot of the times you can say, hey, no, that's not true. Uh, this isn't yours. Sometimes you can also do use YouTube's beta. It's been in beta for like two years. Uh, song removal tool, which will try and remove it. Unfortunately, downgrading the quality of the whole video itself. But the video is unblocked. And at least it's live. So that's the thing. Uh, but a lot sometimes I, I, I got to get, I, I get around that. And I'll have to cut a cutscene or I'll have to mute the audio for a certain segment of the of the video. Stuff like that, you guys. It gets very, very tr tiring to do so. And I have to do it on a lot of games, I find, as of late. It, it sometimes, some games are completely untouched. No one questions it. It's just all good. You're good to go. Other games, it's complete polar opposite. Like, one that was the worst one I've ever had was probably the UFC, EA Sports UFC. That one was so brutal. It was blocking videos, uh, muting them, no matter what I did. It was horrible it was horrible like it killed the series i couldn't keep going because every every few seconds it was getting a flag and it was oh god it was horrible okay now that's why i do the things i do that's why i do it that way it, the video gets unblocked it can stay live for you guys to watch with a bit of a sacrifice into uh, a few seconds or minutes of footage or audio that i am forced to cut okay that's the only downside with this with this program now the question I get, let's go to the main meat of this video. The question that I often get about it is, Dan, you're the only person I've seen that has to do that. There are other Let's Players on the on YouTube who who don't have to, and they still have the video live. They're still they still have ads running for them. They get 100%, you know, rights to it. Blah blah blah. 
Why is it that you're the only one that I've seen who has to do this to their videos? I'm going to answer that very quickly. I'm not. I'm not the only person that has to do it. It all depends on your network. And out of all the networks on the planet, there are only, well, I don't want to say only, but there's one big one that doesn't, that, that, pe that the people that they're talking about are unaffected, okay? And that's Machinima. So that must mean, damn, why didn't you sign with Machinima? Machinima sounds awesome. Like, you know, that you don't have to worry about content ID ever. You don't have to worry about copyright. You're made in the shade with Machinima. Are you though? I know, I know some things about the Machinima partnership that the average viewer does not. And a lot of things, and I'm gonna explain everything in this video, why I'm not with Machinima, okay? Um, now, okay, let's, yes, a lot of the, a lot of Machinima partners right now are, are not experiencing content ID. If you're considered a managed partner, uh, there's, okay, there's, okay, let me just break this down. There's two types of partnerships, managed and affiliate. And affiliate is what I have. It's basically what almost every network, or sorry, any MCN on YouTube gives the, uh, gives, gives their, uh, their partners. And it's basically what I have. Uh, the upside, now, before I get into the upside, let's talk about the downsides of the Machinima partnership, okay? And why I have not signed with them. Okay, so Machinima, a lot of their partners, no content ID. That, I'm going to tell you right now, is very limited because there literally is no such thing as a managed partnership. That's a name that Machinima has given that partnership to make it seem like it is. What happens is when, picture, okay, picture this. Whenever I get my content ID, it comes directly to me, okay? So every time there's a flag or something, I'm the first to know. And I can take the necessary steps to fix it or alter it or whatever. Machinima partners don't get notified of their content IDs. They are still getting them. What's the difference? It goes to Machinima themselves. So what they're saying is when you're a managed partner, all copyright, content ID, everything goes to Machinima themselves. This means that if something goes wrong with your channel alone, you can not only jeopardize your partnership, but Machinima's partnership on YouTube. Their, what they have with YouTube, their, their MCN status could change dramatically. Picture this. I get a lot of content ID as it is, right? Picture hundreds of thousands of partners signed to Machinima getting content ID, but they don't see it. Picture all those content IDs and copyright strikes going directly to Machinima. That is what's happening. They are, and nobody is special here, you guys. My network's no different from them. The only difference is Machinima's step putting themselves in front saying this channel that's managed is my property. So Machinima's saying this is my property. I take full responsibility for what happens to it. Which is why Machinima is so, uh about who they signed to, to a managed deal. They need somebody who's gonna get them money. They need someone who's gonna be more likely con to, able to convince publishers, developers that they can use their content for their Let's Plays, whatever, right? That's why they don't take everybody as a managed partner. So when, when you're given this managed deal, and say for example, you start breaking a lot of rules and you start giving Machinima a buttload of copyright strikes, it's no different. Three copyright strikes, you're gone. You're not exempt from copyright or content ID. In fact, as a managed deal, you're more susceptible to getting a copyright strike and losing your channel. From my standpoint, it's not possible to get an actual copyright strike anymore. That's the good thing about being an affiliate. You get content ID. Yes, it's annoying. I know. But you don't get copyright strikes because you get content ID instead. They just block your video, take the ads off, you don't get a strike. Full screen, that's who I'm still signed to. I re-sign with them for like, this is one of the reasons. A lot of people are like, Dan, I thought your channel was up, you were bitching about them. Yes, I had other reasons besides this as well. So they, I, I fully understand how YouTube works now, which is why I re-signed, okay? And being that 
you 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 can get still receive these copyright strikes and i like i said i can't i mean i'm sure if i uploaded something like a movie i still wouldn't get a copyright strike it would just be removed they would just remove the video they wouldn't strike me they just get rid of it obviously i don't want to play with fire and i'm not going to test this theory but according to these mcns who put you in affiliate that's how it works okay excuse me so when you're a machinima partner and I'm just saying, eventually, eventually, Machinima is going to get too many content IDs and too many copyright strikes that they can handle. It's going to be so much that they're going to start either A, getting rid of their partners, like uh, kicking someone off because they're causing too much trouble for the network, or B, they're going to get rid of the managed deal altogether and you're going to be an aff they're going to be affiliates just like everybody else. So... That's why I'm, I'm not with Machinima, and that's why you see certain people unaffected. Trust me, they're affected more than I am, because I am in more control of my channel than they are. They're being told, they're being promised by Machinima that they're made in the shade, that we'll look after you, etc., etc., when it's been proven that Machinima has had some shady practices in the past, like keeping people to, their, uh, to the contract, pretty brutal things like... Uh, oh, I'm trying to remember. I've had some examples in the past, but I'm sure a lot of people are aware of some of the shady things that Machinima has done in the past. While they may seem to be the best, the best solution right then and there, especially to a lot of new newcomers who see all so most of their favorite YouTubers are signed to Machinima. They're like, oh, that's perfect. I that's gonna be awesome. They seem like the best network to go with. You really gotta weigh the options. You really, really do. There's a lot of great networks out there. Freedom's one of them. No contract. Um, they actually offered me a partnership as well. I don't know what I stand on that. Obviously I re-signed, so I can't go to another network for a few years. Um, but I am happy with full screen lately. Uh, I've, I mean, yeah, despite the content ID, it's how YouTube works and I'm just glad it isn't any worse than it is right now. I mean, obviously things are going to change, but when they do change, just think of this when they do change and machinima drops, uh, managed. Picture all the content ID that these people thought they were getting away with come flooding in. Ridiculous amounts when all of the rest of us were already caught up and ready to take care of the content ID as it goes forward. It's nothing new to us, you know what I mean? I'd rather gradually have to fix it, you know, one video at a time or whatever as I post than have to like get hundreds maybe even thousands of videos getting flagged for a content ID or worse, a copyright strike that could potentially cause you to lose your channel. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm kind of accustomed and I kind of like my channel, so I don't really want to lose it. So I hope that answered your question. For those of you who are wondering why, why does it seem that your channel is the only affected party? Why is that the case when you have all these other YouTubers? A lot of those other YouTubers you're probably referring to are machinima okay and i'm not with machinima there's the thing is i'm not the only major youtuber i don't want to say i'm a big youtuber i'm, I'm decent size but you know what i'm saying like someone with 150,000 subscribers and up there are lots of people with the same network that i am with who suffer the same problems they just take care of them accordingly but because i'm a let's player though it's more noticeable you know what I mean? If I wasn't doing less plays and I was doing something else, it'd be easier to edit in whatever I'm doing. You know what I mean? Whether it be making my own music video or something, I could use set cuts of foot footage that it could still be used, fair use, etc., etc. But the let's playing side of things, it's kind of tough. And like I said, there aren't too many huge full screen let's players out there. Okay, there's there's a couple. I, I don't know who exactly. I can't pinpoint. There's a lot of channels that have like a million subscribers. You're like, who the hell is this? I've never seen you before, but somehow. A million some people watch you. I had never even heard of this channel. That happens all the time. So just like a lot of people don't know who I am and I have um, pushing 170,000 subscribers now, um, there's tons of people who don't know who I am. And that goes for everybody on this, on this website. There's so many channels and there's so many people doing this now, it's really hard to keep tabs on all of it. So just trust me when I say I'm, I'm doing what's best for the channel and I'm doing what's best for you guys because I know that I'd very much rather have this channel than have to start fresh by losing it and go the whole route again. So, I mean, there's other reasons why I signed to full screen again as well, but they're my own personal reasons. I don't really want to get into them because that's not the point of the video. But those wondering why copyright is the way it is, how it works, what the managed deal is, you guys now know that is how it works. 
it's not it's not anything special. It's just the, it's an affiliate partnership wrapped up in in a different name, and it's just everything's going to someone else, the the main company, instead of going through you first. So you got video guy video you network. That's that's what I'm with. Video me and the network, and we have. Video, oh, problem goes here, I fix it. Worst case scenario, I send it to these guys, my network to help me fix it, and they do fix it with me if, it, if, it's, if it's false, which most of the time it is. Cl like, counter notification, not counter notification, sorry. Um, uh, uh, it's, not, it's not called a counter notification. I can't remember what it's called. Um, I don't know, you, just, you dispute the content ID, that's all it is. You can dispute it. Usually goes with it away in a few hours, worst case, a day or two. Um, and you're good to go. So most of the time it's been a couple hours and it's been cleared up. So that it's they've been getting really good with their content ID on the false false side of things. So I am happy about that. So uh, yeah, just so you guys are aware. So that's how it works. Any further questions, please go down in the comments and ask them. Anything you're not sure of still, uh, feel free to let me to, to ask me. I'm here to help you guys out. So as well, I'm gonna leave you guys with this message as well. If you are a, a, a YouTuber who's getting a following and you're and you're looking into signing with an MCN or you've had offers, don't just go to one because you know of them. Do your research, look at all of them, look at the offers they're, read, they're willing to make you, look at the benefits of each partnership because each partnership offers you something else. Um, pick the best thing for you. If that is Machinima, I'm not saying don't go with Machinima. By all means, go, go with Machinima. Do what you gotta do. Because if you don't upload copyright footage or whatever and you don't feel like you'd have a problem with it, you, you'll be unaffected by the sweep that will eventually come. So you get what I'm saying. Just take your time, pick through all the options because there's tons of MCNs to choose from. Tons of MCNs, trust me. I get, I get, invite, I get like 10 invites a day from these people starting their own MC, MCN companies and they're just random bullshit things. Like, oh, we're gonna offer you a great deal of this percentage. And I'm like, that percentage is pathetic. And it's a lot of spam, but you get what I'm saying. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Favorite it as well. Share it so people can get this word around. For those of you who aren't sure how MCNs work or how the new MCN programs work with managed and affiliate statuses, what which side is best for you, which one, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Let's get the word out so people fully understand. I hope I've answered a few of the questions that were being asked about this uh topic. So any further questions though, comments, I'll do my best to answer them. And yeah. Check me out on my social media. Everything is in the description. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I have uh, I have a cafe. Oh, not cafe. Is it ca not cafe press? Sorry. Uh, I have a spreadshirt store. A uh, couple of new. I, I added some shirt designs. Unfortunately, I'm not wearing one right now. I was yesterday. But I got some really good ones that uh, my Star Wars National Public fans would enjoy. Uh, just in general, some people. I, I, I'm trying to add more and more. So if that's something you're interested in. Go check that out. But above all, you should follow me on those social media sites because I post a lot and you can ask a lot more questions on there and I'm more prone to answer them because they're easier to answer because they're right there and they're delivered nicely and I don't have to worry about looking through comments and comments and comments. You get what I'm saying. So if you have one of those, go ahead and follow me or add me or whatever the case would be. I appreciate it. So thanks again, guys. Take it easy. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you guys soon. I got more gameplay lined up. So thanks again. Take it easy. Have a good one. And we'll see you guys very soon.